So here's how to create a table of contents in Canva. It's very easy to do, and if you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description or simply use that to get free access to Canva. Let's begin. So once you are logged in and on the dashboard, what you wanna do is create new design, which is kind of just blocked off there because I already did it. We're gonna come here and then we're simply gonna to wanna to type in table of contents. I have done all of those things. We now see table of contents here. Let's give it a click. All right, and in case you clicked off anywhere, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of different templates that we can utilize here under this specific design section. So there's gonna be premium templates. If you're using Canva Pro, you can use those. So anything that has the Pro there means you can use it if you're using Canva Pro. Anything that doesn't means you can just use it for free, which is great. So I'm gonna go with something like this, or maybe I'm gonna go with the one up top here since it's Marketing Island. And just like that, it is going to be added in. Now keep in mind, obviously, if you were not just creating your table of contents, but something else under it, you would be adding pages to it and so on and so forth. And probably, in my opinion, what you'd wanna do is just edit this last, of course. Like maybe you have a title page and you wanna just move this to the second one, you can do that. So for an example, let's move this down one. So this could be the title page, this could be table of contents, and then everything else you're gonna be adding pages. So let's say you had 10 pages, what you'd want to do once you were all done with those is go back here and then change it up. So, you know, say for example, page three could be something like about me, right? And then you would just type in what that's going to be about. Let me move in and zoom in so it's easier for you to see. There we go. And we could just change this about me, you know, type that in. Next could be something like on page four. We're gonna be talking about YouTube here just as an example. And then we would click there and edit that. Same thing with this, like this could be page eight. This could be marketing, just as an example, and so on and so forth. Also, we can change this to, let's just say marketing and island. And obviously that's way too big, so I can make this a little bit smaller here. Something like that and we can make it down here. And of course, say you wanted to change around the picture as well, as we can see, we do have a picture in the back here. I'm gonna to go to my uploads. I don't think I have any vertical pictures, but I might be able to just kind of make it bigger. If we were gonna add something like this, what we can do here is right click on it and we can do, let's see, layer and we can do send backward one. We could send backward again. So that's gonna be, there we go, perfect. So I was gonna say it's control and then the uh, bracket. So if I wanted to do something like this, I think I can make it big enough where it at least covers there. It's not gonna look the greatest, but just if I wanted to throw something different in there, I do have bigger images, so that is something I can do. If I wanted to make it like that, Perfect, something like this, of course. Now, this is just an example, and this is probably one of the easier ways of doing it. So I am gonna conclude it here, just kind of cap off some of the tips that we talked about. So remember, we're gonna be creating a table of contents. Let's type that in. And most importantly, you're gonna to wanna to search for the designs that you wanna use, whether it's going to be the premium ones or just all of the results. And once you do that, keep in mind, you're probably gonna want a title page if you have that. This mostly is gonna be maybe uh, page two, unless you have something that you want before it. And then make sure you go through and add all your other pages and then do this last just so everything is in order and you don't have to keep changing around you know the page number what it's about and so on and so forth so if you got any value out of this be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton and if you've made it all the way to the end a virtual high five for you i will leave a link for a free gift in the description that can help with building and growing your digital business if that's what you're into of course my name is james thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video